the Ethiopian Prime Minister and Eritrean President embrace warmly at a state dinner in the Eritrean capital. It's the first time in 20 years the two countries have had diplomatic relations. They say it's time to turn the page on decades of tension and war. The wall that was built between our people against their will for the last 20 years needs to be demolished. In a rapid rapprochement, the leaders announced they'd reopen their embassies, restore phone lines and reinstate sea and air traffic. The loss we incurred in the past 25 years cannot be recovered. But today, we feel like we have not lost anything. Since coming into office in April, Abiy Ahmed has said he would renew dialogue with Eritrea. Ethiopia's decision to recognize a disputed border territory as Eritrean made a big contribution to warmer relations. Eritrea used to be a province of Ethiopia and declared independence in 1993 after three decades of war. But between 1998 and 2000, territorial disputes became a new conflict, which would cost 80,000 lives. The two countries signed a peace agreement in 2000. Abiy Ahmed's intention to respect this was welcomed by thousands of cheering Eritreans.